So do you think therapy will help a narcissist? Or especially to answer someone's comment, EMDR therapy. So if you don't know what EMDR therapy is, uh, EMDR therapy is eye movement desensitization and reprocessing. So basically what it is, is it's using different eye movements to actually be able to open up different sections of your brain to be able to process and be able to move towards healing even faster. Um, many studies have shown that with EMDR therapy, people are able to process traumatic and emotional events and get to a place to find healing and be able to get back to a healthier way of living or a healthier life in one sense. Um, it shows really that people can mend their minds. Um, people can change their thought process. People can work to be able to heal psychological trauma and damage that has happened to a person's mind through EMDR. And so it takes different emotional, um, traumatic events, like disturbing experiences. So it could be like a car crash, like seeing someone die. It could be like a rape victim, um, like whatever it might be, like those typically types of like trauma that stick with people for a long period of time. And it can take those and start to process and like work through them so that those events focus on the positive. So they don't focus on the negative of what actually happened, but the positive of I survived, I can grow, I can live, you know, things like that. And so with EMDR, I, I went to an EMDR therapist for a period of time, like a couple months or whatever. And when I first got there, I was just like, this is weird. Uh, I wasn't doing like the full like eye movements. They had like these like little like paddles in one sense you hold and they would kind of like vibrate back and forth. And for a while I was like, this is weird. Like the only thing I can concentrate on is like the vibration and like the sound in my hands. And like, that was it. So like, what is the point of this? And then finally I had like a couple sessions where we ended up going a little bit deeper and I started seeing like, whoa, like there's actually some unhealed like emotional trauma like in my past that I didn't know was there, that I didn't think about was there. Um, everything just seemed normal and nice. And all of a sudden I'm like, wait a second, like this is actually sticking out like a sore thumb now. And so with EMDR therapy, it works to be able to take away the blame and the shame that you put on yourself and be able to get to the place of healing and growth to be able to better a person's life. Now with narcissists, I do think EMDR would be a decent thing to do, but you also have to remember if the narcissist isn't willing to go to therapy or if they're not willing to actually be vulnerable and put themselves out there, it's never going to be effective. It's never going to be something that actually is helpful in the long run. With therapy, I do caution people, and I'll make a note here, so I do caution people to make sure they don't go to couples counseling or couples therapy together if one of the one of the people is a narcissist, mainly because in those type of environments, the narcissist will use and twist different words and different things that are said in that context to be able to turn it back around on the other person. So typically what you'll see is you'll go to therapy with your narcissist, and as you leave and head home, you'll see him rage out you'll see him yelling you'll see him turning the tables around on you to make you feel like you're the bad person to make you feel like you're the cause of all things that has been done to you you're the cause for having him cheat you're the cause for having her walk away you're the cause for having them ghost you but it'll never actually get to the place where they take accountability and responsibility for their actions that's the main problem there I think therapy is great for anyone and everyone to be able to heal, you know, disturbing events or past trauma or whether to be able to work through emotional uh, neglect or emotional trauma or just to be able to work as with a coach to become a better person. So like for me, like therapy is going to be part of my life probably for the rest of my life because I know I need that. I need that focus, that grounding to be able to keep me moving forward and to keep me learning, growing, healing and changing in the right direction. So anyways, that's a little tidbit on therapy and EMDR.